Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get a free domain for Shopify website in 2024. A custom domain can enhance your brand credibility. And I'll guide you through some methods to secure one without breaking the bank. So make sure to follow this step-by-step -step guide. Step-by-step, -step, of course. And let's just follow this guide. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm going to use a Brave browser, of course, where you can use whatever you want. Once you open it, basically just go to the URL section. And first of all, let's just go and open our Shopify account. So go to Shopify.com, hit the enter button, of course. And make sure to log in into your account right away or create an account if you want to if you don't have one already of course you can create or log in using a google account if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account so once you do so of course you can just go and create your store if you don't have one already and of course every create every story that you create on the free plan you'll get it for three days just three days for free so and of course first it's important to know how that shopify of course already provide a free subdomain when you sign up your website url will look like basically your sh store name dot my dot my shopify dot com as an example i'll just show you here if we go to this list panel and click on online store example and here of course we'll be able and to edit this example first of all we'll be able to view your store as an example here's it as you can see you'll be able to do all the edits on it however you want as an example click on customize and you'll be able to customize it however you want so let me just show you once the page loads and as you can see in here so you'll be able to edit whatever you want on your uh, thing then of course you can save the changes if you made any changes as example maybe you would delete some uh, products you'll add some products you delete uh, like something you didn't like whatever you did you'll be able to save it afterwards after that you'll be able of course to publish your site and as we said you'll be able to publish your site but if we go here you will publish your site just with a protected password. So just go here, I guess, to the bottom and they will give you like the password here. So yeah, as you can see, you'll be able to publish your sites, but not everyone will be able to see the sites unless they have this password that's put in here. If they don't have that password, they will not be able to see it. And of course, it will be published on, as I said, so if you go here to settings and click on domains, you'll be able to see the domain that you will have. So this is going to be the domain of your online store. If you copy it, for example, open it in a new tab, oh, sorry, that's this one. Uh, if you copy it and open it in a new tab, you'll basically be able to see your store and interact with stuff. But as an example, for me, I did not uh, like fill up all the stores or sorry, the products. So as you can see, no products found. I have nothing so i still did not add any products if i go here to this last panel of products i'll find no products in here as you can see so yeah this is basically the domain that you get as you can see uh yours uh it's gonna be your store name with this which is gonna be some numbers and a letter dot my shopify.com so well this is of course a good start point but a custom domain of course will look more professional and easier to remember so many domains registers like Namecheap, GoDaddy and others often have promotions where you can get a free domain for the first year. Keep an eye on these deals uh, specifically around like Black Friday, Cyber Monday and other major like sale events. Uh, of course, make sure to read the terms and conditions as these offers usually renew at a higher price after the first year. So it might be like a free first year, but after that you'll have to pay maybe $40, $50, I don't know. Of course, there are also some services uh, that will provide for you uh, uh, free domains with some limitations. For instance, as example, free GNOME provides free domain with the extensions like .tk, .ml, .ga, .cf, and .gq. While these are less common than .com or .net, they can be a good option for starting out. So, as an example, we'll have to go and visit free nom.com and hit the enter button once you do so you'll be taken to their home screen main screen here's an example find a free domain so look for whatever domain you want so an example for me i'll just look for something like that mr omics example and dot com as you can see no com normally you wouldn't find it as example but let's just go here and click on check availability and see if it's if possible or if uh, if it's available 
but normally you wouldn't find this anyway so as we said like normally you find this dot tk uh, dot uh, ml uh, dot ga dot cf as example uh, dot uh, gq as example those will be available and probably free of course you can first of all like or you would like to first of all to sign in into an account if you have an account if you don't have an account you'll need to go and create a new account for you so you can start using like freeno as you can see a name for everyone you'll basically have to check for availability of that name then you can simply start uh, getting it an example here i'll just go and sign in with google of course you can even sign in google or facebook whatever suits you for me as i said here i'll just go and choose like uh, sign in with google forever allow and then i'll click in here sign in then i'll basically choose my account this is going to be this account example here as you can see continuing by continuing google you share your name email address language preferences so all the information that you'll have to enter by your own they will basically share it with namecheap or reno as you can see for me they told me like your social logins could not be determined why because i still don't have an account yet so if you don't have an account as example but as you can see you will not be able to create your account whatever like happen so this option is not available at the moment so what can we uh, use other than that you can look for something like dot dot tk as an example this is the second choice for 100 percent free tk domain name this is the most popular website for free domain name registration and as you can see you can simply just look for whatever you want as an example this is dot tk click on check availability and you'll be able to check if it's available or not keep in mind it's not secure of course other than that there's the biz.nf uh, as example and there are uh, options such as co.nr and the last option that i know is site ground so just go and type site ground hit the enter button as an example and yeah as an example so here and this dot dot tk just go and click on check availability for this it's going to be the same example so you'll get a free domain name just enter whatever you want and dot as an example is going to be this dot c1 just click on register and as you can see it's available you can simply just register it right now so here free domain in order to register free domain you will need of course uh, you please sign up for any web hosting plan then log into the control panel of your web hosting to register free domain there as simple as that then simply just go here and unlog in with the web hosting control panel once you click on login you will get it of course uh, this seems like it's not working as an example this should be like the co.nr so it's not working okay for size ground example just go and check size ground as well so example here we go and click on login i don't know if i have an account if not i'll just try to yeah i'll click on sign up because i don't think i have an account so it seems like it will provide for you some web hosting and it will give you like a free uh, domain name as it seems in here so it does not seem like a fair option so all the options that you can use it seems like okay so all those are not available so just look for something like that add an x check for availability as an example and we should be able of course to check it or not and then of course basically once you get a domain all you need to do go to settings right here go to this list panel click on domains then you'll find your domain right here all you need to do of course is just go back click on connect as an example and get an existing domain and enter the domain that you want to connect as an example so for me oh, sorry i have a domain that's i'll just show you that's what they will show you so here as an example they will uh, tell you to follow settings instructions click on it and they will show you exactly how to do it once you follow this settings instructions you can always go back here and click on verify connection and if it's connected an example they'll show you exactly how if connected you will find the check button and you will find an example your uh, url store will be changed right away so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye